Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So, as you notice, everything has been returned. Our mechs have been fixed and ready to go. I, and I've already outfitted the Marauder too. Now, I did do a little bit of playing around with it. spent like almost a half an hour trying to figure out what I was going to do with this thing. And because we don't have the C-bills to really put an XL engine in this, which is really going to make it shine, I kind of had to just kind of go with what I had at the moment. So we got weapon mounts in here, ER medium lasers in the arms, and a rotary 5 autocannon. Uh, so it's not bad, but if we quickly go to see what a Clan XL engine will give us, it is like 2.3 million to add this thing in. So we're going to have to work on getting some C-bills, but it will give us almost an extra 10 tons of free space. So, I mean, we can switch these out for, for PPCs or ER large lasers or who knows what. We'll put something else in here, or we could run two racks in the torso. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Um, now, I don't know if it'll fit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We can fit two racks in the torso if we wanted to go that route. So once we were able to put the XL engine in, we're going to have much better time of it. I mean, I could sell a couple of these right now and to try and get it in, but I don't want to get rid of them all. I want to be able to hold on to some of them because we want to be able to add them later on. Um, although that being said, that's a three-day repair. Chances are we're going to get more Clan XL engines anyway. Right? Right? So let's back out for a second. Maybe we just do that. Let's just sell. Um, let's go to the store. Let's just do it. Why not? What the hell? So, while we were away for a day, um, Clan Jade Falcon has got 90% control of the world again, or this planet. Not world, but planet. Um, cooling why is the engine not at the top I think it would be right at the top here there we go I'm gonna sell two of these guys and then let's well uh, you know what sell one of these if we can get clan XL engines we should just use those we got you know we're gonna have to sell another one because we got to make our financial report and we'll put one in I know we're using them all up but you know you know not like we can't get more. We're fighting Jade Falcon for crap's sake. All right, so let's pull out these ERs and let's go with. We're gonna need heat sinking too. I don't really have the ability to heat sink this properly, unfortunately. Uh, let's go to uh, here. Let's go down and drop in a clan, a couple of clan ER PPCs because we got those. Maybe not. That's a lot of weight. How's that? Oh, right, because we haven't put in the <laughs> we haven't put the XL engine in yet. I'm such an idiot. Okay, there we go. So now we got a ton and a half for heat sinking. It's not gonna do it. Like we're like nowhere near where we need to be here. I don't I don't even have exchangers. I don't have anything that I can really reduce this with. I've only got plus one and a plus six here. Like let's check the store. Don't think there's really, well, we could, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do here. Um, so let's just change this a bit. ERPPCs, that's 55 heat, right? Yeah. What if we go with one ERPPC? God, the heat, man. The heat, I'm telling you. Um... What if we do this a little differently? Let's take the PPC out. Let's go with uh, a pair of ER larges, pair of ER mediums. Right, it gives us a bit more. We don't have any space for heat sinking. That's the problem. Okay, well, it's auto cannon build then. Has to be. So no way we can do it. Um, so if we go this route, could go two rack fives. We don't have the way to take the weapon mounts off. I mean, that would all be all we have is two rack fives. 
Okay, maybe not. What else can we do here? Still have to add ammo. Whatever we do, we have to add ammo. We could go with two Ultra 10s. Because these are what? 10 tons each. So see there's... Ah, oh man, I don't know. Okay, what if we make this guy a bit more of a brawler, go with an Ultra 20, we got to go with something small. It's our heat at now. Hmm. Still got lots of weight left. We need we need then we would need ammo. So we do have ultra twenty ammo. Do we not? Do we not even have ultra twenty ammo for Christ's sake? We don't even have ultra twenty ammo. Really? We only got two Ultra 10 round uh, uh, ammo. Man, we're really lacking on ammo. Uh, let's go back. We really need a prototype double heatsink kit. Let's go back for a second here. Do we have anything with a prototype double heatsink kit in here that we can just cannibalize? Does this have a prototype double heatsink? It does. So this is the catapult that got wrecked, right? So let's take, well, we don't really have any prototype double heat sinks. <laughs> the exchanger will help. Let's take that out. Um, we got feral lamellar on the guy right now. Um, let's take those out. Let's confirm this. So that'll help a little bit. Thank you. Um, Bushwhacker's got prototype double heat sinks. Like, I mean, we could just refit this guy, change its loadout, steal all the prototype double heat sinks. We could steal the Nova CWS. We could steal the enhanced imaging if we wanted to, too. Use the fire console control system improved instead of the uh, advanced enhanced imaging. Let's take this. You know what? This guy's been a workhorse, but I think. I think we're going to take them out of service. It doesn't even have an XL engine or anything in it right now. Let's just take it out of service. Let's do it. Let's go back into the Marauder. Let's have a look at this guy again. Why, why skimp, right? So let's take this out. Let's take this out. Go to equipment. We're going to go down here. Uh, where are you here? Uh, improved clan. This is only one slot that allows us to use the TTS weapons. And then we want to use the enhanced imaging um, for the accuracy and recoil reduction for the rack. Right? And then we want to go and grab our Clan XL engine. Right? Then we want to go. I know we have a Royal Double Heatsink kit in here, but it really isn't giving us anything. Let's pull a Guardian ECM because we have a better one. Let's grab our uh, prototype double heatsink kit. Where are you? That's probably going to help out more. 
I think in the long run for these, just for the sake of argument for now, because we're definitely going to need the heat reduction here and the exchanger, not you, this one. And then triple XL gyro, where are you? I think that's going to use too many slots though. I think we'll just leave it where we are. We'll use up way too many slots if we do it this way. So if we take these off now, now we can probably go with um, the ERPPCs. We're a little over in weight. We can work with that though. Um, or in order to maintain the weight, we do ER larges and ER mediums. Right? Our heat sinking should be pretty good now. Actually not bad at all. This is going to give us greater overall damage, although not great overall pinpoint damage, but we still got really great chances to hit at really long ranges. Rack's got good uh, recoil reduction from here. Well, it's got one. It's a three recoil. Oh, right. We need the... Uh, Nova CEWS here. Let's not forget to put that in. Where are you? Put that guy in. Over by half a ton. We can deal with that. Um, do we have a quarter ton? I don't think we have a quarter ton. T um, do we? No, we got half. We got three quarter ton. So we can take this out of here and put the patchwork in, which will only leave us with a quarter ton left over. Something like that. Yeah, I mean we got pretty damn good accuracy. Great, great accuracy for the arms, because we got plus three here, plus four here, plus three more for the arm. And then the rack's going to get plus two, plus four. It's got a bit more recoil than I'm used to, but I think it'll be fine. And we can cycle off some of the ER mediums if we if we need to worry about heat. We can cycle. We can just turn the ER mediums off. So I think with what we have, that's not bad. I'm going with the ferro lamellar. I'm noticing the heavier the mechs get, the less chance we have of um, actually staying hidden. So this will at least reduce our damage being taken. All right, let's commit nine days. Confirm. And I don't think we have, no, we don't have enough time to get it fixed before the financial report. We have enough of the financial report, but let's take a mission here, and then we'll take one with the Marauder afterwards. So let's go have a look here. Command Center Contracts. we got a couple I think we can take. We've got Hard Target, which is an Assassinate mission. It's against Karita, but we don't want to do that. I mean, we could do just, just take this one real quick. Um, it's a recovery mission. That should give us more than enough. And then we could take this one here. Five skull against the planetary government. It's a battle. Um, an elite lance. I think we could probably do that now. Um, let's have a look at our mech warriors first. We're going to give it a shot, I think. Let's give it a shot. We want to start doing some more difficult stuff, so we're going to do that. Um, plus 20 overheat thresholds, nice. Unsteady thresholds, really nice too. I think we're waiting for gunnery with her, though. Uh, Megasaur. Um, plus 50 view distance would be really nice. Although so is plus um, plus twenty percent maximum sprint. Waiting for orders. Satori. Initiative minimum range is not a big deal. Health. Uh, I don't know. What's up, boss? Minus 10% heat generation is good on sunflowers. Let's take that. And then I think we will. We're, you know what? We're going to go back to Megasaur. I think we will go this route and get the extra view distance. One of the big problems is her ability to target the, the uh, enemy. So we're going to do that. All right, let's do this. 
I'd love to have the Marauder for this battle, but um, there's a tougher one here. Um, this is a defend base. It's not this one. It's Pride and Vanity. It's against Jade Falcon, so I want to have that up, the uh, Marauder up for this one. So I want to try this one. So we're going to take the hard target, I think. Or sorry, flushing them out. It's only government lance. Let's negotiate this. We're not going to get much in the way of planetary um, influence or anything here, but we're not going for that. We're going to go for mech parts. Let's accept this. And we got the Thunderbolt, and we want to bring the Black Knight instead of the Wolverine. Let's get Megasaur in here, and let's grab... Um, I don't know, ELRMs. Or the Ultra 20 with high movement. I think we take the Ultra 20. I think we're going to get a lot more use out of that. So it is a five skull mission. We're at four and a half here. I think we'll pro I mean, if we have to bail out, we can do that. We still we can still make our financial reports. Let's deploy. All right. Okay. Well, it could be a better map than this, but okay. Stay frosty. This is not going to give us the advantage we were hoping for here. We're really going to have to focus fire down our targets. It's going to be tough too because this place is hot, hot, hot. Uh, I think you need to get over here. Need you to move up, girl. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Okay. Bushwhacker. Uh huh. Heavy missile carrier, eighty tons. Wow. Fulcrum and a pretty baby. Oh, nice. Okay. This guy's got to go. There's no two ways about it. Enemy unit destroyed. Okay, PB's going. PB and J. Oh, you're not so awesome now, are you, buddy? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Get it? He's not so awesome. <sighs> Alright, I think you need... I should call you linebacker. Go straight up the middle here. Acknowledged. They're going to get reinforcements. They're probably going to come from up there. So let's get on these guys. Let's get on the fulcrum. See if we can remove it from service. Roger that. Standing by. You don't want to mess around with these guys too much. Once Roger. again, let's get that fulcrum out of here. He hasn't shot yet, so if we can kill him, that'd be great. I hear ya. And firing. Wow. Whole lot of fail going on. Ooh. Ah, just in my defense, this wasn't me this time with the camera. It did some wacky shit on its own that time. Ready for orders. Can you finish up that fulcrum, please and thank you? Or not. Just don't. Whatever. Okay, who's going?
Bushwhacker's already gone. I've gone. Vehicle, maybe? Reinforcements? What the hell? Come on, guys. I want to try and max... Oh, that's you. I'm trying to think about what to do there, are you? Oh, you didn't move. Yes, Commander. As much as I want to uh, attack the pretty baby, I want more salvage off it than anything, so... Roger. Let's eliminate this fulcrum. Mm. And basically solidify the waste of shots that we've been doing the past couple turns. One more for the trash heap. Well, I knew you could take care of the problem. Um, now... Warlord... Offensive push, leg, fire. Ooh. Yeah, man. See what he does. We can connect with that ultra. Ah, saved ourselves some 16 damage. Warlord, offensive push, leg, firing. I think they both hit the leg. I think they both, yeah, because they were 80 damage each, right? It's got a mean debuff, apparently. Ready for orders. Hmm. Yeah, let's turn this way. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Ooh, four hits. Wow. Yes, Commander. Got it. Ah, uh, won't be enough to take the leg. We might be able to get this one. If we actually hit it, for Christ's sake. Come on, guys. Guys. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, but you didn't sweep the leg. It's very unsatisfying. Thermobaric explosion. I'm pretty damn hot up here. Good thing I got an AC-5, and I don't need to use my PPCs. Actually, I can use them, because damn. Fire them all, let's take this leg off, hopefully. There we go. Have a seat, buddy. Just sit down right there. Sit down, there you go. Let's do it before we move. Just fire the ultra on that leg. Not nah, quite enough, eh? On my way. Get some movement into play. How do we do here? We didn't even hit the leg. I think we hit the torso. Ah, well. Hey, thanks for turning your leg for us. Really, really appreciate that. Um, really appreciate that. Love to have this guy as a starter assault mech. Think I hit something good. Love to have it as a starter assault mech. You should have moved farther than that. Warning. 
Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Warning. Pain exceeding recommended level. Here it comes. Ow. Yeah, don't show us. Ooh! Can you collect some of the salvage off the rock face over there for me, please? It could be an exchanger up there. Ah, forget it. Never mind. There ain't nothing up there. Ain't nothing up there but tears. Alright, let's target this leg again. How much has it got left? 70. Let's just fire one shot. Maybe we get lucky. There we go. There you go, girl. And stay down. Yeah, baby. Nice. Only one lance. Successful. Nice. Alright, 187,000. That should cover our repairs on the cataphract since it was the one taking the most damage. And let's see here. Lots of pretty baby parts, although we have a lot of bushwhacker pirate parts as well. Uh, Ultra AC5. I'm just double checking just to make sure there's nothing down here that we really, really want. Most likely not. Uh, that's not bad. Emergency cooling system. XL engines, no. Nope. Fire control system, missile, no. Nope. Gyros, ball liner, eh. Not as much as I want the mech parts. Alright, well. Because, yeah. Ah, we only got four. And a bushwhacker part. We might get a bushwhacker out of this. I don't know if we've got any more parts of a bushwhacker anywhere. Tons of rocket launchers. Oh, we got the emergency cooling system. Nice. Double heat sink. AC5 ammo. LRM swarm. That's kind of cool. Alright. Let's have a look here. Okay. Fair enough. We'll have stuff back before the end of the month. And we got more than enough for before our financial report. Let's have a look here. Um, I want to see. I don't think I don't think we had any other pretty baby parts. I know we faced a couple of them. But I don't think we got any parts. Let's look at storage here. We still need to refit this catapult as well. We're going to do that, but not right away. So assault max. Yeah, we don't really have a lot. There's four pretty baby parts, four cyclops parts, six gosszilla parts. Wow. Thought we had more assault mech parts here, but I guess not. Boar's head parts, Mauler parts, Battlemaster. Got a lot of heavy parts though. Timberwolves. Anything else amazing? Cataphract parts. Um, more cataphract parts. Tons of catapult parts. No thank you, we don't need any more. Got like three catapults already. Black Knight parts. No, see more catapult parts here. Archer. It'd be nice to get an archer. Black Cat. Yeah. I mean, another uh, Gungnir. Dragon. Onaker. I'd like to get an Onaker. The Kerensky mech would be kind of nice, but I'm having a hard time getting pieces for that guy. Alright. Well. Let's wait. We're going to wait till past the financial report because I want to bring the uh, Marauder in on this next mission. Uh, we're going to pull out the, um, I've got the, the Wolverine out of this next mission. Bring in the Marauder in. I'll probably shift the Cataphract down to Satori. And we'll run the racks with Baba Yaga here. So let's have a look at our uh, contracts. Actually, you know what? I don't think we got enough XP now. I think we needed 4,000. We don't have enough, do we? No, t we got a couple thousand. Um, Tori got enough for the next level of gunnery, which we're going to take. Uh, and confirm. Minus two recoil. That'll help out. Um, and then Sunflower. Nope, not quite enough. for. Oh, yeah, we spent the points. That's right. So let's go to Contracts. I don't really care right now what the uh, situation is on the planet because we want to take Pride and Vanity. It is a priority mission. It is against Clan Jade Falcon. Most likely it's going to be a Lance of Mechs, then another Lance coming in afterwards once we make contact. I'm going to go full salvage because it is Clans. It's the beginning of the month. we got lots of time. 
Gonna take this one really cautiously, really cautiously. So we're moving the cataphract down to Centauri. Let's bring that Marauder in. We're ranked at five skull right now. I don't know how this is gonna play out. I don't really know clan-wise what we're gonna be dealing with here, but um, ERP PCs, Ultra Fives, large rack ammo, Thunderbolts, got the Goss and the large, and the Black Knight Destroyer. All right, let's 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 do this. All right, let's do this. Jade Falcon family territory, eh? They must have moved into the inner sphere. Let's let's evict them. Don't be complacent. The mechs look a little worse for wear. They can still kill you. Yeah, and we can still kill them. So most likely it's going to be the guys up here we got to take out, and then the reinforcements from this side. Again, on this map, it's pretty much standard. Uh, and we need to make that hill quickly. Time. Let's go. Well, staying away from the enemy. Ready for order. Little sprint, please. Let's stick together, though. Sticking together. Because that's how we do. I copy. Failed to connect. No, no. I heard vehicles. That's probably a good thing. All right, Satori in the cataphract. I want to see how this Marauder looks. The, the, I got to say, the um, the improvement in this model, like look at this. It's so much more streamlined now. It's really nice looking. I don't really like these the uh, kind of jet engines on the torsos here, but this, like the arms and everything look really cool. Kind of like classical Marauder. I don't think it's as good, as, good looking as the Mad Cat is, but still uh or the timber wolf it's still really nice looking though and we got look at that good speed on this guy 300 engine really helps out i think that that's gonna really help us out because that's more to my play style Heads up, Commander. yep You've got hostile contacts inbound. let's see if we can handle this guy we should be able to do it at range no problem uh you still gonna engage these guys up here though what do we got? We've got a Dire Wolf Tank Destroyer, a Rhino Royal. So Dire Wolf is the guy that we want to take our parts from. So far, anyway, we might find somebody else that we like too. Aye, aye. Standing by. Now that's a hundred ton dire wolf, so it's mu it's gonna. I don't want to say it must be pretty slow. It's probably really slow, so we can afford to take a little bit of time to work on these guys as we move up. Okay, it doesn't have that much armor. Is that a clan LRM carrier? Is that what it said? It did. So we got two double loads of rack ammo on this guy. If we fired six rounds for ten turns straight, we'd still have enough ammo left over. Uh, do we want to kill this guy? ERPPC. Yeah, we want to kill this guy. So let's rack it up here. Let's warlord it. Let's see if we can take this LRM carrier out. Firing. Okay, nice. You want thunder? I'll give you thunder. Kachika, chika, chika. Sorry, Cars movie. Or the movie Cars, that is. Let's warlord this up. We want to try and take this guy out. Wow, that's uh, probably not going to happen. Alright. Alright. One hit. We'll take it. Waiting for orders. Okay, good. Reporting enemy vehicles 
So they still got two guys we haven't seen yet. Um, Puma. Wow, really good chances to hit. We're going to jam with the rack, but we're going to take the chances to hit and go for them. Yeah. Nicely done. Let's keep moving this way. Okay, there's the other mech on this side, which is Wolverine. Okay. I'm just afraid. Up to the encounter with the beef there the other day. I don't want to risk it. If you don't know who the beef is, I'm sure if you guys watch Battletech at all or are interested in Battletech videos, you know who the beef is. If you don't know who the beef is, look him up on YouTube. Look up the be the beef Dire Star. And you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. That last episode with the Dire Star, man. He do? loads up 10 ER PPCs on the damn mech, and then uh, he just it's like a one shot kill. But then he just shuts down. It pretty much destroys his own internal structure. Uh, let's. I don't want to get that guy to see us yet. Let's move up here. Yeah. Gonna target this Puma because it's taking a lot of damage already, so we're gonna fire. Tell me what to shoot. Nicely done. So our flank is almost That's secure. Flank is almost secure, and we're in a good position to attack this dire wolf. As long as they need a friggin' dire star, we're okay. I mean, the other thing we could do with the Marauder is remove the, uh, the Feral Lamellar and put in the AMS armor. I don't know. Overall, I think probably we got the right armor in there. Yes, Commander. Oh, man. Do I really want to do this? I think we do. Let's get rid of this guy. Move order received. Oh! Flail attack. Vehicle trashed. Okay. Dire Star can't see us right now. So we need to move up. Let's get closer. Roger. I want to take this guy out. Not worried about these two. Okay, what do we got? Vehicle. I have no idea what it is yet. It's the Dire Star. 10 ERPPC for maximum damage. Armor. Nah. I swear to God, I show. I want. I saw that video for the first time, and I had to show my son. He was in tears. He was laughing so hard. Waiting on you, Commander. If you if you haven't seen the Dire Star video, you definitely have to go see it. He's basically in uh, Mech Warrior Online. He's in combat against. I, I guess he knows the one guy that he was uh, fighting against. Uh oh, are you gonna melee? <laughs> Twenty-five points damage. <laughs> are you kidding me? That is the most ridiculous thing I have to say I've ever seen. He's all like. Let me show you how good I am. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to attempt to Order. do some damage to you by somehow mailing you briefly in the leg for 25. Alright, let's attack this guy. Dude, you're fucked. Target's taking a critical hit. You just you just gave your mech away. It's really what he did. Just is like, hey, I don't want this mech anymore. I'm really tired of fighting the inner sphere. So please, please just go ahead and just take my legs. I just take my legs, please. All right, 
Defensive push. Go after the leg. 95 left. How much do we need to get full? Oh, that's fine. Three's fine. There it goes. I'll be shocked if we get him this turn. I was expecting two turns. You stare at the sky and you contemplate your mistake. All that armament and all you could do was melee for 25 damage. Uh, you'll get yours. You just hang on over there. It's getting pushy. Stop being pushy. You got nothing, you hear me? Don't. Don't even say things like that. You know what happens when we say stuff like that. You know what happens when we say things like that. Okay. Let's get this leg. It's got what left? A lot left. Let's wreck him. There it is, folks. I bet you he's all like, damn, that was a bad move. He's just going to stare at the sky and reflect on what he did wrong. Rhino, 80 tons, some missiles and some lasers. A lot of armor. Let's take the side off of this guy if we can. Firing. Eh, not quite enough. Megasaur might be in range to get after this vehicle. She might be just in range. Well... Now she's a range of this guy. Yes, Commander. Yeah. Let's not pollute the loot table with anything that we don't need. Uh, yeah, see ya. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Oh, was that a missile carrier? Looked like it said missile carrier. Probably is. Um, there we go. A little better. A little better. We can't see that guy yet, so let's warlord it and just go after this guy. Um... Do we want to pinpoint this guy? No, nah, I think we just fire. I know we didn't have the rack for that, but I'm not worried about it. Thanks for showing up, Bubba. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got our warlord back. Let's get our heat back and hit this guy hard. Nicely done. Waiting for orders. That's the back, eh? Doesn't matter. Let's just finish him up. Rah, boom. So we got super lucky today with these five skulls. I gotta say, could have been way, way worse. Um, let's get some chevrons of evasion up. Simply because I have no idea what this guy is. I thought it said missile carrier. I only caught a brief glimpse of it though. Gotta get eyes on, or at least sensors on. So I heard a really good discussion the other day about um, YouTubers and how hard it is to play and talk and get things right as you're going. And it's totally true. Um, just trying to be able to um, 
articulate and you know um, On the move. And here I'm doing it already articulate and um, you know be able to focus on playing the game at the same time it's not an easy thing because you're really focusing on two things at once and as much as people say your brain can multitask your brain can't work on any more than one problem at a time no matter who you are um, it's really multitasking is the ability to switch between tasks um, easily there we go so it's definitely not easy uh, you know YouTubing and playing at the same time because you miss a fair bit And what I mean by a fair bit, 385,000, um, is I don't mean like, you know, you miss like what's going on in the map board. You kind of know what's going on, but the things you miss are things like, um, for instance, if I go to my invasion series, you miss seeing resource beacons. You miss, I can't not take these. Um, you know, you miss just like lots of little things because you're so focused on talking that you know and even in the loot table you know you're you know you're going through stuff and you you kind of see like e cooling plus two we could use this um you see stuff and you're thinking oh you know yeah we could grab that or we could grab this but if you're talking and looking at the same time sometimes you overlook things and you i mean you guys see me overlook stuff all the time right um it happens a lot and i don't think i can do any like as much as i want this stuff i don't think there's any other way i can go with this oh man it'll be so good to have a dire wolf Let's just take this. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five direwolf parts, Wolverine C part, ATM, light machine guns, LRM-20, clan, nice, SRM, Shriek SRM-6, internal combustion engine, which we can sell, another Guardian ECM, TTS weapons, nice, nice. We got something good. So this was actually a pretty good roll here overall. All right, um, hey, we took it back from Jade Falcon, nice. Uh, oh, we got a Wolverine C. Really? The battle mech was solely designed to spike Kleiner's distaste for everything Wolverine. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so it's a little bit of repairs. A little bit of repairs, but I was expecting that on a five skull mission. Let's just check this out here. Um... Wolverine C, eh? So that's another great mech. We oh, It's going to cost a lot to outfit this, or refit this guy, I mean, so. It took very little damage overall in this mission. Let's have a look here. Actually, it's not in too, not such a bad condition. 355,000 to get it back up and running. What advantage is it going to give us, though? With the, I mean, massive hard points, right? It's the hard points are just fantastic on this mech for a wolverine it would totally be worth swap swapping out our current wolverine for this guy we've got feral lamellar on here we've got lots of time before the end of the month let's get this repairing we've got so many medium mechs so many medium mechs right i'll get it in the skip actually this guy's got what six energy hard points eh, okay not enough I was thinking it might be a, a good uh, replacement for the Flamehawk and we turn this guy into an energy boat, energy weapon boat or something, but this Flamehawk is so well laid out. Like, honestly, I don't think I would want to change anything on this uh, with the exception of the SRM-6 clans, but we can fit two of them in as opposed to regular SRM-6, so... But other than that, you know, I think it's actually pretty darn well laid out. Um, so, yeah. All right, so that's it for that. Um... Let's have a look at the planet real quick. I want to see. I mean, we can't do we can't do anything else here now. There's nothing really. No other missions. But ah, we almost flipped it back the opposite of what it was. We were at 10 percent. They were at 90. Now we kind of flipped it almost back to where it was. So all right, good work today. Good work today. We're gonna to have to find another four skull planet over here somewhere uh, for the next episode. There's a five skull. Um, it's kind of nice because it's like it's a water world, I think, isn't it? Yeah, water world would definitely help out. We've been playing five skull missions, so we could probably go there. My only, I mean, I like four skull planets because we can get five skull missions, but we can get lower missions so our second lance can get some experience and 
some fighting in. There's a four skull planet there we could probably go against. Marawi. Desert planet. So it's still pretty good. This one's what? Two? One and a half. There's a four skull. Were there Asgard? Or Asgard? We could go check this planet out. 17 days away. Jade Falk gets 107%. So we can do some work against this planet again next episode. Um, there's also a uh, consecutive operations. Yes. Three and a half. Flattened Earth, eh? Um, there's something we could take probably in a little bit. How many days? 105 days left. So we've got plenty of time to take that mission. So I think maybe we jump over here next episode. Um, do some work there. Uh, it's 17 days away though, so I'm going to need to make our financial report. So I'll probably sell a bunch of junk in the interim. 7 days to the Marauders. 17 days to the Marauders back. Let's just switch this around. We can fix that. 16 days... Uh, yeah so all these will be back in 8 this will be back in 16 and we'll be at the other planet and we got 29 days to the financial reports we don't need to sell anything we're just going to jump there and we'll be fine we'll be set up and ready to go and then we can think about what we're going to do with the Wolverine if we do anything with it at all probably go in storage for now um, it doesn't have an XL engine in it right now or anything so it's not such a big deal to put it in there and bring it back out if we have to um, just to save some coin. Alright guys, so we're going to end the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also let me know what you think about the Marauders loadout now that we've had a chance to put an XL engine in it. Um, I think it's not too bad. I mean, we'll probably make some adjustments. I like the fact that the rack's there. The ER larges for long range. ER mediums for... Because we can't fit anything else in. So at least it's a half decent damage. 31 points each. With, with, you know, half decent range. I think it's like 560 meters or something like that. So it's pretty good. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see everybody later.